everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Aimee and today I'm gonna talk about this new Urban Decay XX Vice limited reloaded palette this is an ultra limited edition palette I don't know what that means maybe it's like very like limited and uh, one thing bad about it that I don't like is it's exclusively only sold at Ulta and Ulta doesn't sell out outside the United States so if you are outside the United States and you want to get the hold of this palette so you can't so that's the only thing that I don't like about it but overall I am so excited with this palette so if you want to know how I did this purple eye makeup look using this palette Just right stay here tuned and it will be later in the video so it retails for $56 and it comes with 20 eyeshadow shades it's not so bad because you get 20 beautiful eyeshadows with um, this palette all right so first off the box came in this this is what the box looks like it's beautiful iridescent purple and um, it has all the names and the colors of the eyeshadows and when you open it up um, this is the actual palette and it has a matte finish and a, like a 3d um, purple like uh, their logo and then Roman numerals XX that means 20 for representing their 20 years anniversary palette actually is I think a really good buy especially for me because I don't own any vice palette yet I um, I have their naked smoky palette uh, I, I mean I have their naked palette and I really love their naked palette and I never had a vice one this is my first vice one vice palette and I think it's a pretty good deal because um, you can actually get like their cult favorites they have um, I'm gonna go ahead and read here it actually have um, um, what do you call this it has five vintage shades um, <clears throat> it has five exclusive um, shades from the past and seven best sellers from their collection of singles so like totally like their like collection of beautiful eyeshadow shades so i think this is a good buy if you don't have any urban decay um eyeshadows yet so that's i think this is perfect for me so all right and then there's like a purple button right here that when you open it up it opens like this and it has a big ass mirror and look at all these beautiful colors um, I don't know how they arrange it I don't really like how it was and arranged. also it comes with this dual ended brush oops like this um, you can use that too I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch suspend this feels so velvety and road stripe and gosh so as you can see this is suspend this is um, oil slick this is road stripe this is gosh gosh is like very pretty I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it over here all right you can see suspend is a little bit like um you have to it's really velvety but I think you have to build it up it's really good for like a smoky look and oil oil slick is more like a matte but like has silver micro glitter on it and road stripe has this like you can see it's white but it's kind of like purple it's like purple and violet like blue violet on it too and gosh gosh is like my favorite is like so pretty oh my goodness like a pretty red right there actually I have like um road stripe in the inner like a little bit in the inner corners of my all eyes right. all right moving on um we're doing the midnight cowboy Midnight Cowboy is like a uh, Midnight Cowboy. It's like a pink champagne with glitter, like silver glitter on it. Uh, it's pretty. 
I have this on the like a little dot on the inner corner of my eye too with the road stripe. This is the 501. And this is shallow and lace. Lace is like a matte. Um, this would be good for like a mid-tone color and hat pants. Alright, and you can see um, hat pants is very pretty. It has like a kind of shimmer. And this is um, laced, and this is shallow. Shallow is pretty too. It's like a grayish, like silver. And this 501 is like a blue. Has like micro glitters on it. Just gonna go ahead and swipe it for you. Um, it's pretty. This hat pants is really pretty. I have the hat pants like on the middle of my lid. And it just makes, and I have the 501, no, not the 501, the UVB. It just makes it like, make it like look very right, We're gonna move on to mildew. It's like a deep metallic green shimmer. Whoa, that's pretty. We're gonna go to the next row, which is like smog. Smog is like really pretty like coppery brown this is a misdemeanor it has like a greenish tint to it like whoa it's like a teal green um color to it and this is my favorite also it's called freak show oops whoa i think i put too much <laughs> okay i think i pushed too much on it um that color is just so pretty I have that on my crease the freak show color I'm gonna go ahead and swipe it for you guys right here oh my goodness look at all these pretty colors <gasps> oh that is just so pretty all right so moving on we're gonna do asphyxia asphyxia is like a Kind of like a lavender pinkish with a blue hint to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do asphyxia. It's really pretty. I have it on my, like, on my brow bone a little bit. It's this really pretty light lavender color. It has a little shimmer. And this is acid rain. as a beautiful green color. Acid rain is like a yellow green shimmer. You can see. And moving on to the bottom palette, this is Moonflower. It's like a shimmer, a little bit of shimmer. This one is not, it doesn't get the color, it doesn't pick up the color that much. And let's do the UVB. It's pretty like bluish, purplish. This is what I have on my, um, on my lid. So I'm just going to go ahead and swipe it. Um, yeah, you can see the moonflower did not show up that much. It's just a little bit of, um, has a little rose gold kind of shimmer. And this gold mine just looks so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe it. Oh my goodness, look at that yellow gold color. It's kind of more like a gold metallic color. And this is twice baked. It's a really dark pretty dark brown has a little shimmer on it and this is anonymous which is really matte and very buttery and velvety and this is what I had on my brow bone right now and I put anonymous all over my lid before I put um the colored eyeshadows and um, yeah it blended really well and it's really good color for a brow like a right here so look at that color is so pretty. I really like how you can blend these shadows together and um, it was really fun to play with it and make this look so all right so that's it for the swatches I hope this will help and, you all right I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did this purple eye makeup look so I already have my face makeup on and I had this eye already done so I'm gonna show you how I did this purple eye makeup look showing you with this right 
with this left eye and then I'm gonna use this palette right here so what I already did um, I use a wet and wild eyeshadow brush and I use this color anonymous I just put it over all over my eyelid I already did that all over all the way to the bro bone all right so we're gonna do we're gonna do this using this real techniques uh, base ba real techniques base shadow brush I'm gonna use this asphyxia color It's a pretty lavender purple color I'm gonna put it all over right here on the brow bone I forgot to mention that before I put the eyeshadow on I put the Too Faced shadow insurance primer all over my eyelid this will just help make the eyeshadow last longer right and then using the same brush I'm gonna use this freak show color and it's a pretty dark purple I'm gonna put it all over my crease first I'm just gonna dab it in like pushing it in the crease And then I'm gonna swipe it and just like with a sweeping motion I'm gonna swipe it left and right and also I'm gonna move it towards like dragging it to the end corner like towards my um, eyelashes like making like a V like an outer V alright and then I'm gonna get that I'm gonna go ahead and get the wet and wild brush again I'm gonna use this UVB blue kind of blue purple color and it's very pretty it's like kind of shimmery and shiny I'm gonna put it all over my lid like that I'm just gonna use my finger my little ring finger and I'm gonna use this um, color hat pants and I'm gonna put it on top of the UVB like right here and just in the middle make it pop like it'll make the color pop there all right and then I'm gonna use um, a different brush from echo tools I think this is their small eyeshadow brush I'm gonna use a road stripe it's like a dual chrome eyeshadow it changes colors it's white but it's kind of like bluish purple I'm gonna put it in the inner corners of my eye like this And I'm gonna stretch it and move, drag it all the way over here to the bottom, like to my waterline, over here, like that. And then I'm gonna use, um, what do you call this? A different, like a different Echo Tool brush. And um, I think this is like a smudge brush. I'm gonna use Midnight Cowboy. And I'm just gonna like dot it like in the my tear like in this corner right here to make it look shimmery like I have a, like a shine on it like right there 
and and then I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use this elf brush I think this is a smudge or this is an eyeshadow brush I'm gonna use the freak show again I'm gonna go back to the color freak show that we use in the crease and we're gonna put it down here like drag it down here oops oh shoot I put too much hold on if you put too much on your eyeshadow brush just take it off with a q-tip oh shoot I put too much it happens it happens I put too much on so I just dragged it down here and of course I gotta So as you can see, it has fallout. So what are we gonna do? Because it has fallout, we're just gonna brush it off. Ah, oh. this eyeshadow has some fallout. Well, it's um normally if the eyeshadow is very pigmented, it is normal for it to fall off. For a fall has fall to have fallouts. So <clears throat> we're gonna finish. Uh, we're gonna continue, and we're gonna you get asphyxia again, and dub it over the freak show over here, and then I'm gonna use a smaller eyeshadow brush and use hat pans to make it to make it lighter. All right, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a Q-tip because it looks like I have to put too much on right here. It got too much. Oh. Oh well. All right. Okay, I think that's good as a fallout. All right, so. That's basically it. So we're we're done with the shadows. We're just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put my um, eyeliner on and my curl my lashes and my mascara on and finish this look. Okay, I forgot to show you that we have to go back to Anonymous. The eyeshadow Anonymous is like a bone color, like a skin tone color, and we just put it underneath the brow bone make it popped out and that's that's it so this so this is the look uh, purple eye makeup using this palette you can do so many fun looks with this palette so many fun combination um, I really had a, a lot of fun with this palette I'm I'm really happy with this purchase I'm really glad I got it and so um, I hope this helps you if you want to recreate this look I hope this tutorial helps you out and just hey, have thank fun thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye